Hey guys! Welcome back to God of War! And I know this isn't Ragnarok, but if it makes you feel better, I just pre-ordered Ragnarok, and uh, the day before release, November 7th, just so you know, when, I, uh, when I'm recording this, yeah. <laughs> Here. It'll probably be out a while by the time you see this. Yeah. Like, literally everyone else in the world will probably have to play Ragnarok by the time you see this game. This episode. Yeah. Anyway, let's do it. Oh, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, do that too. Looks like it needs three entry stones. We're at the land of the maddest king. Like, there's a really mad king person. And, uh... Still won't open? Looks like we need three. Maybe that mad king person turned into a dragon or something. Like... Like... No, the... Yeah, a previous dragon was once a dwarf. Uh... They, get, they got hold of a magic thing, and then they became a dragon. So maybe that happened to this Mad King guy. And that Mad King guy is also a dwarf. So you can only come to the conclusion that all dwarves turn into dragons. Are you a dwarf? If you're a dwarf, the enemies are strong here. get ready to breathe fire. And well, uh, technically today, like November 8th, I gotta get my formal voting clothes on and uh, do that political voting thing. <laughs> and, you guys put my formal voting clothes in? It's like I, I put on a top hat and like fancy clothing and jewelry. You know, gotta look my best. When I go to the polls, that's how it works. What's your like formal voting clothing look like? Let me know in the comments. <sighs> Could be whatever you. Well, it's gotta be formal. That's for sure. Oh, hey you. I don't know. It's reassuring that you guys are. Uh, Loving this series, you know. I don't have to worry about uh, playing the latest game. As long as you enjoy what I'm playing. That's all that matters, right? If you enjoy what I'm playing, show it. Like, comment, subscribe, stuff like that. Yeah. And a, a big thing is, you know, when you hit that notification bell, you just do that thing uh, where you... See all videos. <laughs> oh hi. There he is. Or I just want to go there. No. There are a few ways to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, where you see all the videos. That's a big thing. I guess I gotta go back there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You'd think this dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to feel. Hey, you took my line, Ed. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Something along those lines that uh, the dragon should be more supportive when I'm trying to help. Yeah. CNR. CNR. What does that do? It's probably not that. I love it. That was fun. 
That electric thing is not fun. Why doesn't he breathe fire? All dragons should breathe fire. In my mind. And all unicorns should, uh, poop rainbows. It, it, it's just... It, it makes sense. Who's, do who's doing that? Who's doing that? Oh! Yeah, what I do is I make sure to paralyze these things because so they'll dig under. Otherwise. I'm moving on. I think I'm good. Oh, there you go. I was wondering who was firing at me. That guy's a camper, I tell you. Doesn't want to actually compete. Just finds a good camping spot and tries to snipe me. Classy. Curious about this, though. I think I'll get back to that. Oh yeah. I'm planning getting back into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And uh, the previous episodes were the PS4 version. Uh, I got the PS5 version going now. And there's a lot of new updates. There is transmog. That means like a fresh start. Well, I make episodes of this first start. Well, I'm not trying to repeat what well, you've already seen too much. Who knows? I guess you'll have to see. Would I decide? Right on your side. What will I decide? Who knows? I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'm downplaying a little bit. I'm fully committing. Ah. Let's do that one. I can enter through the door of mystery. What is behind the door of mystery? It's no longer a mystery. It used to be a mystery. Now we know. <sighs> Don't you hate it when mysteries are spoiled? It sucks. <laughs> I could have hit that fire thing, but I didn't. <laughs> See, it worked out. <laughs> These guys are really, uh... These guys are really digging me. Oh, is that a wolfie? Is that a wolfie? I think it's a wolfie. I want to pet it. Are they cute like my dogs? That was obvious. I'm not alone. I've got an eye of the storm. An eye of Odin. Okay. Boy. Yes, sir. Hold on. Let me read this. Yep, go ahead, read it. Take a look. Pause if you want. Dragon and uh What are you doing here, the elf guy? 
What's the dark elf guy doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. There's that. There's Mr. Dark Elf behind me. I know. I know. He thinks he's all tough. He thinks he's better than me, doesn't he? Well, I'll show him. He's got aim. I'll give him that. Whoa. That's a lot of booms. I want to try to free this dragon so he doesn't try to kill me. That'd be good. Why did the dwarf thing want this armor so badly? What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the Deve Grafica. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well... What can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you say so. Well, I was on uh, watching Good Mythical Morning, Good Mythical More, and uh, they let me know about a game. Where was I? Forgot to. I, for, I, I forgot what I was going to say. I got distracted. Don't blame me for it, please. The Mad King! Is that the Mad King? The Mad Dwarf King? I think he is! I did it. No. Uh, it's not the Dwarf King. Hmm. I remember that thing in uh, Good Mythical More. Game the an obscure game. It's like We're in. Okay. Here we go. Like mother truckers. Huh. It's kinda run down in here. What did you expect? I don't know. West Ruin, I guess. Maybe the throne room's in better shape. I keep getting distracted by these. Yeah. Look here. Another <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six, seven, eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. All right. Yeah, I'll let you read about this guy. Now, in, in where was I? Yeah, that obscure game that Red and Link and Good Mythical More were talking about was like Mother Truckers Two. Truck me harder. That's that's a legit game. Maybe the king is a ghost. All right, that could, that could be good. If the king's not a dragon, he's a ghost. This is this place is clearly haunted. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying and screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. It's haunted. I knew it. I have a sixth sense. They're getting louder. They sound almost like. 
a six cent, not a six cent, okay? I'm not a sick person. I am not like that. This, this traveler, he's pretty sick. That traveler guy, he's called a traveler. They like to travel around and try to kill Kratos. That's what they do. Just don't get hit by him. But he's got friends. Things like Joey and Rachel and Chandler and the other friends. Oh, a lot of Hellwalkers. Hey, look at this. A blood trail. Do you like friends? Like the show? Blood? That's a lot of blood. Maybe we'll be able to see his ghost. I want to see his ghost. <laughs> and say, how is it like to be a ghost? You know? Just curious. Where's the passage behind this throne? A secret passage! Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. Uh, I have a secret passage in my bedroom. So, uh, who doesn't? It leads to a secret video game cellar. Not a ghost, but uh, close. Maybe I will meet his ghost. All right, I'll let you read about uh, our new friend here. Boy. Ah, I was wondering about this. All right, his last words. You know what? I don't, I honestly don't think I'm gonna use his armor, uh, no matter how stylish the it might be. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. I once made a delicious meal out of cyanidolite and some shrimp. And uh, it was amazing. I made a whole TikTok video about it. It was. It went viral. Actually, I didn't. Someone else did before. I got to it. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>